Mr. President, this is the only video I will be doing today. What you just said makes no motherfucking sense to any person that has ever watched the news in America. Mr. President, you have just lied to the American people. If we already have oil in the strategic oil reserves, why in the hell should we drill for some more? I am sorry. Let's use what we got. You cannot go drill for oil and expect the prices of oil to go down tomorrow. Do you think that we are all stupid, Mr. President, or just some of us, or just most of us? I don't understand what your game is, but it's played out. And now that your time is coming to an end, you want us to start drilling off the coast? Well, think about it. Off the coast of California, there is oil drilling, but the state of California does not receive one penny from the oil that's coming out of the water. Do you understand what I just said, Mr. President? The state of California does not receive one penny for the oil that is coming out of the ocean. We drill underneath the ocean. Oil comes up and the state of California does not benefit from it. If that was to happen off the coast of Texas, Mr. President, what the fuck do you think would happen to your oil stock holdings? What would happen to your family's oil companies? If the state of Texas no longer benefited from the oil that you drain out of the ground? Damn. I start saying, Mr. President, it got dark outside. What the hell's going on? Okay, so what? The moral of the story, what I just said is true. State of California doesn't receive any rights for the oil drilled off the coast of California at this point. What do you think you're going to do to the people of Alaska? We do not need drill. You understand what I'm saying? What we need is sanctions placed upon the oil barons who have the stranglehold across America. You just said in your video, America's economy depends on oil. What the fuck? The state of California does not earn any money from the oil drilled out of the grounds around California. So what makes you think that opening up drilling for someplace else is going to give us any monetary means? You talking long term for yourself. People have tired, people have been more than tired of seeing you do for yourself, Mr. President. Please, Mr. President, do what you got to do to try to prop up your legacy, because right now, you will go down in history as the worst leader in the free world. Prop that shit up. Throw people a bone before you leave. Give everyone something that they've never had before before you leave. Don't give them martial law. Don't give them a chip under the skin. Don't give them masters to guide them around. Give them something they can depend on. Because your word is no longer good, Mr. President. I couldn't even watch this whole video. And I'm going to say something that's going to piss every single person off that has ever watched my channel. In that last election, I voted for your dumb ass. Why? Because when two guys are fighting, you don't pull out one fighter and stick another one in. We were at war with somebody. Why should we change presidents while we're at war? So, this time around, we're still at war. You didn't finish the fight. So I look stupid. My vote wasted. As black as I am, I voted for your sorry ass. And I regret that to this day. But Mr. President, please, please, stop this idiotic pursuit of bettering yourself because you already have more than 95% of the country. You need more? You need not ask us for more. We've given you more than enough. Mr. President. The greatest moment I thought, I, the greatest moment I thought that you had was your first inauguration. You were standing there and Laura was looking beautiful and you reached down and slapped her on the ass. Get the video. Check it. I said, damn. I like this guy. Mr. President, 
you have lied you have sold out you have given up your people yes sir how can I help you not much I'm finna get the yard ready why don't you come on by and we hook up the swimming pool and shit yeah I'm gonna put up the swimming pool just so it'll, it'll be there we um, already pulled most of the weeds in the front yard and shit you know and yep I can't do it it's just like 80 degrees man it's 822 in the morning dude I have to do the shit now plus I don't know if the boss is gonna call me in to work I'm talking to the president right now and uh I don't think the motherfucker's listening to me. Yeah. The President of the United States said, sorry, motherfucker, I, yeah, I talked to that motherfucker. Yeah, he's fucking up. <sighs> Shit. He's fucking up. He's selling us down the fucking tubes. You damn right I'm talking to the President at 822 in the morning. Shit. It's fucking 11 o'clock in Washington. Fuck him. He can't fucking hear what I'm saying. You know, fucking. You know. Motherfucker's a waste of votes. And what the fuck is he gonna do after he's done and sold us out down the river? Fuck it. So come on by, help me do this and shit, and then um, we'll see what's going on. <laughs> okay, I'll, hook, I'll do that for you this morning. Alright? See you in a minute. Bye. That's the guy from uh, Race for the White House. Remember that video? Me and the guy sitting there talking about the borders that uh, President Bush let fall. Yes, our borders are down. We are one nation between Canada and Mexico. It is the New World Order, baby. Stage one. Now, the crashing of the dollar is a purposely well, the dollar is not strong. We're going to have to create an Amero. The Amero is the Canadian dollar. The American dollar and the Mexican dollar combined to build a stronger form of economy for this region of the world. Damn, I did that pretty fucking good. I love my country. I stand behind every leader they give us. But this guy... This guy lied to me. This guy duped me. This guy tricked me. And I knew he wasn't 100%. See, when you allow yourself to be fucked, you always got to wipe the cum off your ass. Damn, that was a good one. That was, that was, that was a good one. That, you know, that was classic. That was So, President Bush, I got the napkin right here. I got to wipe now because you fucked me. The American people need not drill for oil if we have oil. Refine the oil in our refineries. In other words, tell these other cats, you know, we're going to put your oil on hold. We'll stockpile the oil that we're buying from these idiots. So when that way, when they screw us, we're still living off of them. The oldest trick in the book is when you watch these animals get winter, get ready for winter. That animal will stock up as much as shit in a fucking tree trunk as they can get for the winter. We as Americans don't stock up shit for tomorrow, let alone next year. America needs to be retrained in survival tactics. Our hungry need to be fed. Our industries need to be rejuvenated. How can I help you? Get some time, a twine. No, we can we can use fishing string, but when the plants grow, the fishing string will cut into the plants. Twine. I'll just go down the street and buy some twine for a dollar fifty nine from Quick Stop. Don't worry about it. It's like it's like a it's like a when you see it it's like it's like you know that that old wooden it's like a wooden rope, you know what I mean? They got something made up. It, they should have some in the garden section. If not, just come home. I saw them for a dollar forty nine at Quick Stop. I'll just get some from there. Okay, sweetheart. I'll see you soon. Bye. America, I got work to do.
This motherfucker's lied to me and hurt my feelings. And hey, President Bush, you've been tubed. Motherfucker. Fucked off my goddamn vote for that.